Hello, everybody. Holy crap. This looks a little different. Yeah, it's been a while since the actual update, but uh, I've been way too busy. So I'm finally getting around to it. And so this is the latest patch from Virefall. As you can see, the HUD is immensely different. Like, you have current activities around you posted right on your screen. I'm not sure if I like that because there's a lot of things I just don't care about. Maybe that's customizable. And you, you can make that to where I'm only looking for areas missions. I'm only looking for people who are thumping. But if that's the case, I guess it'd be okay. But more often than not, especially for looking uh, looking for certain thumping groups, you're gonna have to look at your bigger map of the uh, bigger map. Also, at the very top, when you are in town, uh, it'll show you the power level of your town so people know if they need to be putting in more uh, resonators in or not and then let's look at the map so the map shows power levels of every town as well nothing too new besides that uh, Ares missions now have up to threat level 5 so you will need help on a lot um, a lot of those tougher missions maybe I've still been able to I was able to solo level, level 5 earlier it wasn't too hard you just have to have decent knowledge of what to what to look for because there are some really cool enemies uh, they added elite mobs that aren't aren't exactly that much harder, so they might have to increase the difficulty of those specifically. And uh, one of the funny things they put in last minute was, as you can see in the background, dropships. And by last minute, I mean very last minute. These are a alpha build of dropships that they've wanted to put into the game and just decided to throw it into this patch just to show us what it's going to be like but it is what the okay that was loud uh, it's just going to show us what's going to happen in the future so right now they don't work very well uh, as you can see, this one is just spinning in circles, doesn't know what to do. Uh, there, Right now, there are too many of them in the air. So some of the AI gets kind of screwed up. Uh, they don't take enough time to actually drop people off. Some kind of but the point is, you just get on the dropship that's going to take you to natural, the town that you want them signature. to. And they'll just fly between main towns and drop you off. But you only have like two seconds to get off the thing and then it just goes off <laughs> kind of funny but especially when the world expands this will this will actually be a nice feature i mean especially like right now the map is kind of covered or even or even when it gets worse like in the earlier mornings when no one's been on I could use a drop ship. I could I could take a drop ship, that'd be nice. But I guess I guess in the future areas being taken over will affect if the drop ship goes works or not. Do you oh, well. see that? On sin. Some kind of Also for you PvP players, big news. It's not natural. Reading a strong melting signature. Moisture farm is back. And I got to play it. It's good. It's not the same as it was before. Uh, just specifically the spawning. It isn't Call of Duty style where y you kind of spawn around your teammates and the spawning tends to fluctuate circular around the map like it does in Call of Duty. No, it's actually set size of the map for spawning 
just like every other map. And so gaining an advantage of height and stuff on the map is much more important and much more viable because uh, two minutes later someone's not going to spawn right behind you just because the spawning tends to tend to circulate around the map and just screw you over in the end. So that, that kind of keeps the movement down a bit, but it also keeps it very centered on the map, and so the fighting the fighting goes a lot faster. So I'm in favor of it, but I'm not sure it actually works the same anymore. It takes a while to actually push the fight all the way to the back of the map, even though that's actually a really popular spot. That used to be a really popular spot to fight. But let's head over to crafting. Uh, as you can see, resource names were changed. And I haven't played enough at all, like period, since the patch. So I do not have any of the new, uh, the 16th resource. Uh, I need to get on that, but I've been way too busy in real life. So it changed the HUD a bit for the crafting system. And not all of it is good. Um, I mean, we still got a resource refining. Uh, and they also put in blending. Because of the tier system, you can actually blend your resources if you want to make a larger portion of one resource so that you can use them or something like that. The problem is, I can't really tell what they mean by that because they removed the other side of the HUD. And that that gave you all the descriptions and stuff, which is kind of dumb. Like, if I want to make cord plating one, it shows up. But, whoops, didn't mean to do that. If I got a resource blending, pick some carbon. Uh, whoops. All okay, right, so it, it does show up. I guess that's nice. I really wanted it to. I really like the the way it always had some of the HUD showing up, describing what it actually did, though. So if I combine all these, I can actually raise the quality of uh, the average. So it averages out the quality and then puts it all together. That way you can have a higher source of, um, maybe the quality of source that you need, but in a greater quantity, even though if that took away some of, some of your higher resources. So if I put it on like this, I can get to 824 and have 16,000 of it instead of 13,000, even though that takes away a hundred quality. So. Use your own discretion. Okay. Well, now I understand that. But I think uh, there have been a few changes to resources that I know everyone's going to love. One, you get a lot more for doing crap. Let's see. Nothing in the area. But uh, we'll just do some stuff and see if we find anything. So, before the patch, no one wanted to do Ares missions, no one wanted to do uh, tornadoes, no one wanted to do PvP because it didn't give you the resources you wanted. That changed. Now, as much as I really hate the notion for PvP, PvP does give you resources. And gives you deep quite a decent amount of them too so there is for all the people who complained about not getting resources but getting crystite for playing now you get a solid amount for each match I wasn't in favor of this I preferred the complete split from PvP and not having to bother with it I was in favor of 
being able to unlock all classes just off the bat for PvP. So you could just jump in competitively. But I guess they went the other way and start still kind of blended it with PV, PvE. Which sucks. But their their decision and I'll work from that. I will try to finish off what I needed. I think I only have one class I really want next. Uh, I only have five tokens, but I'm running out of I'm running out of XP slots or XP things to uh, fill before I get into like blue and red tiers. <laughs> and I almost got those starting to fill out too on like the recluse and my fire cat. But I'm gonna get dragonfly. I need dragonfly. I know I need to work on that. But other than that, I have Nighthawk and Mammoth to unlock, so I don't really care about those two too much. If you want to know the order, it's gonna be Mammoth and then Nighthawk, of course. But I think that's I think if I get Dragonfly, I'll be really happy with where I am. And start playing a bit more competitively. Because I, I kinda of took a small break while my life's been busy. But Back to what I was saying. If you do Ares missions, and if you do any type of thing in the real world, like just beating incursions and stuff like that, you get tons of rewards. Um, so when you defeat a mission, like when you get a notification for friend request or a party invite or PvP uh, on the side of your screen, Actually, now it's on the other side of your screen for some reason. They just pushed it over to the to the left side. But you'll get a notification on how many resources you get. No, I'm not thumping. Go away. No. Well, you get a little notification on the left side of your screen, and you press that. <laughs> okay, notification, and you click that, and you'll see all the re rewards you got for doing your mission and stuff like that. And it's pretty crazy. Like, if you see the post on Reddit, this guy did, like, three... Uh, just killed like three squads of incursion, uh, three squads of chosen, and got like each thing gave him like 800 crystite and 300 resources, or like split between about 300 and 350 resources. I was like, holy crap! Even he was stunned. He was like, I just I wanted to play for a few minutes. I did this and I got like a thousand resources. It's insane. So, I don't know, thumping might not be the only thing to do now. <laughs> That's great. I mean, everyone's happy about that. So, it it's a good it's a good push towards PvE. And I think no one's no one's mad about this patch at all. They gave us exactly what we want. It's making crafting easier. Uh, the recipes are much simpler now, except for the man, which sucks because I need to make one. I want my helmet before open beta, but uh, I need to find more free time, a lot more free time. But uh, no word on the actual nodes being increased. So, Nodes still nodes still disappear really quickly because of how big they are and how much resources people take now from heavy thumping. But with the cure of Ares missions and stuff like that, it might not be so bad. And maybe thumping is just something you do when you actually find something along the way that you want to thump for like 20 minutes. And actually, that increases the pacing of the game, which is really cool and varies it up a lot. And 
for for pretty bland PVE like Firefall has right now, I'm not I'm not criticizing Firefall over that right now, but they only have they only have so much on their open world right now that to keep us interested in the game. And besides the beta crystalite grind, we haven't had much reason to play. And they're going to work on doing op open world environment stuff much more before open beta and then doing open world PvP, um, squad type missions and stuff like that, or not squad, uh, army missions, and kind of making tiers of w the world where you have to build up, you have to basically build up your PvE environment to be able to work on other PvP, PvE stuff. So, that sounds awesome, but it's not here yet. So we still have the same stuff we've been working on for months now, but now we have a reason to actually do it. So it's making the game a lot more fun, a lot more, a lot, have a better variety with the incentive to actually use that variety. And it's something to keep us busy until open beta or the next, next big patch they put out. So that's about it. Uh, if you haven't gotten back into, P uh, if you haven't, got if you haven't gotten back into Firefall recently, I strongly recommend it. It's it's a lot of fun now, and there's a lot to look forward to. But that wraps it up for this video. If you liked the video, feel free to click the like subscribe buttons below for future content on Firefall, and I'll see you next time.